All right, thanks for tuning in. My name is Spencer with Computer Advantage, and I want to take a few minutes tonight and show you how to uh, control your Sonos system with the Sonos Controller app on your iPhone. I'm going to be using the most up-to-date version, which is uh, version 5.4. And so I just want to help you navigate uh, the menus and kind of see how it works in this video. So let's jump right in. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the Sonos app. I already have it downloaded from the App Store. And you just search the App Store for Sonos and you will find it. So we're going to start at the very top. There's three things we need to know about the top menu bar in Sonos. Is first, the three lines is our menu system. And so this system is how we get to all our music sources and then some other options along with alarms and settings. So that's important to get to. You can also swipe. So if I swipe from the left side of my screen, I can get it and I can swipe back to hide it. Next we have where it says living room. This is the name of the room I'm currently editing. So any changes I make to the, my music will only affect my living room. When I go to groups, I can group them together. And so I could now be controlling multiple groups in my house at the same time. So all the rooms now will be together. And so now I'm controlling living room, bedroom, kitchen, and office. So any changes I make to the music that's playing will be reflected in all those rooms and start playing. So let's just tap on that group to bring it back. And now you can see it says living room plus three. So we know we have three more rooms that I'm controlling now. Then next we have the search icon. And this is where I can search my music uh, libraries. I can search music services for whatever information I type in. So artist, track, album, people, playlist, stations, and the list goes on. So I'm gonna go and tap on cancel to bring us back to the main screen. I'm gonna swipe to bring up my menu. Let's go back to the top of the menu. And so now we start at the top, we start at Sonos Favorites. These are stations, uh, playlists, things like that, that I've marked as favorites. Things I listen to a lot and I want to access really quickly and easily. Uh, so we have, in our example, we have a tuned in radio station. So we can listen to a radio station. We have a Pandora station. We have a Sonos playlist. Um, and then we have a few other things down the line. So let's go back to our menu and go to Sonos Playlist. So we saw some of these. Our Sonos Playlists are collections of music. Just like you would make a playlist in iTunes, we can make a playlist inside of Sonos. Uh, the neat thing about making a playlist in Sonos is I can mix and match music. So I can get some of my music from my iTunes library on my computer. I can get some of my music from music services like Spotify or Beats or Deezer, services like that I can get. I can mix and match. I can make one playlist in Sonos that incorporates music from multiple sources. So it's a very versatile um, feature to have within the Sonos controller. My music library is gonna be the music I have connected to my iTunes library on a computer, on a Mac or a PC, or maybe it's just music I have on a network attached hard drive, um, a NAS drive on my home network. And I can connect up to 16 computers or hard drives to my Sonos system so I can mix music from multiple sources and they'll all show up under albums. All right. So let's just swipe back. I'm gonna get back all the way back to my menu. And let's just go down. This phone obviously is the music that's stored locally on this iPhone. And that will be dependent on my iPhone being available to play. Everything else is independent of my phone, which is a great feature of Sonos. Tuned in radio. These are radio stations. These are, these are terrestrial radio stations from around the world. So I can go through and I can search for local radio automatically by zip code. It'll pull up radio stations. Uh, but I could also do a search, you know, so I could search for uh, sports radio from Cleveland. Or I could look for BBC Two coming out of the UK. So we can do a search like that. So I just type in, let's just type in BBC. And you can see I have all these BBC stations. If I tap on more, I can even find even more BBC stations. So these can be coming from all around the world, and I can play them, and I can also save them as a favorite. So let's go ahead and go back. And then we're going to describe, we have a few mu music services set up here. We're not going to go through all of them. Uh, we have Beats Music, Deezer, Hotel Radio, Pandora, and Songza set up. Most people have a few services set up, and these are optional. I can control what I have depending on what accounts I have. The radio by TuneIn is included by default because it's a free service and you don't have to create an account to use it. Uh, and we'll talk about music services um, at a later time. But I can add additional music services. 
and you can explore any of these uh, high-res services like Deezer give you high-res quality or Tidal also has high-res quality. You can do things like uh, Amazon Music is popular, um, Beats is off popular, Concert Vault is a popular one if you like to listen to live music. You can get thousands of live concerts of all kinds of music uh, with Concert Vaults. So there's a whole list of them. It's, it's around 50 different services you can use within the Sonos app. So you can take time and explore as many of those as you want. I want to just go down to the rest of the menu, TV. Uh, this shows up when you have a play bar set up, and that allows you to easily play the TV sound to any Sonos speaker in your house. So it's a great way to take your living room sound and play it in other rooms of the house so when you're watching TV, you don't have to crank that speaker up so loud. A uh, line in allows you to hook up analog devices to certain Sonos equipment like the Play 5, Connect, or Connect Amp, and listen to those sources within Sonos. Alarms are a pretty neat feature because I can set uh, speakers to come on at certain times so I can wake up to my music as I want, and I can control uh, the time, which speaker. I can, um, I can pick what I want, so right now it's set to uh, Pandora Station, but I could pick any of my music services to play. Volume, frequency, and then under advanced, I can keep it grouped. So if my bedroom speaker is grouped to other speakers in the house, it will play to all those speakers. And then the last setting we wanted to talk about, just real quick, is settings. And this is where you would make settings changes. This is where you can add new rooms, new speakers, make changes to those settings, rename rooms, anything you need to do, you can do here. And so that is the Sonos uh, menu. The main section of the screen we've already interacted with, but this is where your interaction comes. This is whatever is currently selected. So if I go to uh, Pandora, I will see all my Pandora stations. If I go to Beats Music, I will see what Beats has for you know my playlist, my library, and then just recommendations based on my listening history. So let's skip down to the very bottom of the screen, and down at the very bottom of the screen, we have what's currently playing in our selected room. So based on this living room, plus the three other rooms I grouped together, right now is playing this information. So just tapping on it brings up the full screen. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit play. And I'm gonna turn that volume down. But you can see I have individual room volume control. So I can adjust each room independent and I can mute them. I have independent control, or if I can do group volume, so adjust them all in the ratio of where they were, or I, and I can mute them all at one tap. So that's the volume control. Let me go ahead and just turn it down very low here. This is where I get my information, where I can then skip songs, pause it. Uh, Pandora lets me do the thumbs up, thumbs down, and I can. So let me just skip a song, and I can skip that. And so this is, shows me album art and it shows me what's playing within whatever music service I'm currently using. So let's go ahead and go back to our menu. So I'm going to tap on the little triangle and that's going to take me back to where I was. So it's going to take me right back to beats, right where I was before I tapped on there. The nice thing is I do have basic control. If I just hit pause, I can pause the music and play the music. And I can also use the volume on my phone. So if I do the volume on my phone, you can see it actually increases the volume of the group. So I can turn that back down. So I can use, with, when I'm in the Sonos app, these volume controls will control my Sonos speakers. If you are not in the Sonos app, it will control the volume of your iPhone. So that's the basic layout of the Sonos controller version 5.4 running on an iPhone. Look for more videos to come get into more information about how to um, do more with the Sonos app.